Hey guys, Henning and Morton from Flip Normals here. In this episode, we are going to be talking about something which isn't really talked a whole lot about when it comes to education. It, the costs of going to school can be absolutely astronomical. And whenever you're looking at, at attending a school, a university or college, they're all like, you know, this is the best school ever. Everyone got hired at Pixar, DreamWorks. Straight out of school. Straight out of school, <laughs> just come here. And that might be true. We're not here to dispute any claims here, though maybe a little. Maybe a little. Maybe bit. a little. But uh, mostly this video here is going to be about the finances of going to school. We are mostly artists and artists are mostly terrible with finances. <laughs> it's mostly like, I just want to do art. I don't want to actually look, look at numbers. So we are going to be looking at numbers here. Mm. A quick disclaimer here. If you are already, if you're already in like your third year of school here and you know you're going to have to finish or you're already finished school and you're in a lot of debt, you, you should probably just shut this video slash podcast off. Or leave the country. Or leave the country. Uh, <laughs> go like click our ads or something in the meantime. But, <laughs> but like this this year might be, this year is more a warning. So if you're already in a lot of debt, this year could be fairly depressing. Yeah, probably. So let's, let's just get started with this. Mm. This is one of the topics which I've been raging about for like years now. Just when whenever you're, you're teaching, teaching a class and you're in the third year and you know that nearly all the students there, they're, first off, they aren't necessarily good enough because the schools might suck, but also there might be in 50,000, 50 or 60, 70, 80,000 pounds of debt. Mm. And you just know there is no way for them to repay it yeah. because their their skill set isn't going to be up to par. Maybe they're going to be able to get like a grocery store job or like something something not relevant to the job afterwards. And you know that they have a debt burden, which is absolutely insane on their back. Mm. I mean, we saw that from, from our school even. Mm. Not that, you know, the, the school that we went to is relatively low in terms of tuitions. Yeah, but the animation workshop. But yeah, exactly. But there there are a bunch of people there that after they graduated, they just didn't get a job. Yeah. And, you know, that's been it's many years ago now, and now they've moved on to something else. And yeah. if you attend a university or a school where the tuition fee is astronomical yeah. then not being able to pay that off is, is actually a reality it, re it really is like yeah when we attended uh the, the cost there is around like three thousand pounds a year or so yeah. that's that's fairly manageable it was very cheap to live in so mad plug for the animation workshop mm. we might actually be there by the time you're recording it and teaching <laughs> so <laughs> so if you if you have something like that you might have maybe you have around two thousand or twenty thousand pounds or so in debt afterwards that's pretty common for a lot of people there that is something you can't pay off. Yeah. What we are going to be talking about here is not, we're not going to be warning you against 10, 20,000 pounds of debt or dollars. We are warning against having 50 to 200, 300,000 dollars of yeah. debt. It is incredibly easy to fall into the trap where you are now in debt literally for life. Yeah, it might not, like if you, if you look at tuition fees for schools and you see a fee of 100,000 dollars, this is like little disclaimer you're not going to be paying a hundred thousand dollars back no like that's that's what we're going to go through in this video <laughs> yeah yeah so we one thing also as a disclaimer here that the, the schools we're going to be talking about now we are not talking about their academic quality here no, like no not at all this is purely okay this school might be the best in the world who cares if you will be in debt for life? Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is purely looking at the finances. And we picked out some of the top schools that we could find here in the UK mm. and, you know, wherever you can take stuff here in the UK and in the US as well. Yeah. So that's purely what we're basing this off of. So some of the ones we are going to be talking about, the most like private schools in the US, which would be Ringling, uh, the normal workshop, SCAD. CalArts and then in Canada, Vancouver Film School. Mm. But this, this, this is just a selection of the schools. Yeah. The, this is true for if, if it's a private school, it's going to be expensive as hell. Mm. And if it's a public university in the UK, it's going to be the same price for all of them. Yeah. And worldwide, this is a big problem. So let's just get started here with, so we first wrote an article here. This was written f several years ago. And we have a specific video where we basically covered this, this article here. Yeah. Where we cover like, should you go to school? Um, it's expensive. Uh, here are some good schools, the cost of the various schools here. We are purely going to be covering the finance side of here. Like your own effort. Cool. <laughs> you got to work hard. We don't care in this video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can find this on hub.flipnormals.com if yeah. you want to read through this. Link in the description. And then... Um, 
we uh, we can just look at the first tab we have open here. So if you're listening to this, we uh, we have a, a student loan calculator here. This here is the stuff nobody cares about. If you're like, ah, oh, student loan calculator, that sounds boring as hell. No, seriously, just 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 stay <laughs> just, stay with us for just now. Try it. <laughs> this is where this is this is where really where the big banks makes their money. I I used to like I don't have a background in finances whatsoever, so. I, I didn't really look too deep in, into what student or what interest rate really was here. So mm-hmm. I, I naively assume that if, let's say, you have 100,000 of whatever currency as, uh, as a loan, and then you have 10% interest rate, then you pay back uh, 10% of that. You pay back 10,000 of that. Yeah. You don't. That's yearly. <laughs> That's yearly. So, so first year, you, you're paying back 10,000. So now you have, uh, have 90,000 left. You're paying ten thousand. Now you're nine thousand. Yeah. You pay, and then you have eight thousand, and you're paying ten percent of that, and yeah. seven thousand. And this, the cost here is astronomical. Yeah. So in this example here, now we now input one hundred and sixty thousand dollars. This here is. It sounds like an insane sum. And if you're attending most schools in in Europe, you're not going to see these numbers. No. Here. This is U.S. numbers right now. Yeah. These are U.S. numbers. So and let's um. Let's set the, the the remaining term maybe to twenty five years. This, this is fairly fa- yeah fairly common. As you can see right now from the remaining term, we have ten years and an interest rate of six point eight percent, which gives you a monthly repayment of one thousand eight hundred dollars. Yeah, most people are probably not going to be able to afford that as a no. monthly payment. Um, what you can do is you can spread it over twenty five years instead, yeah. and obviously that gets. Uh, a lot less. So this means if you now have one hundred sixty thousand dollars in student loans and you pay it over twenty five years, interest rate of six point eight, you are now paying eleven eleven hundred dollars a month, one thousand and one hundred. Yeah. This is this. We don't really care so much about what you're paying back. What we care here is the total. Yeah. So the total loan here will cost you three hundred and thirty three thousand dollars. You borrowed one hundred sixty thousand yeah. dollars. You're paying back. Three over three hundred and thirty thousand dollars here. The total interest you're paying here is one hundred and seventy thousand dollars. So that's more than your actual loan. Yeah, you paid you paid more back in interest. Yeah, so that's a little rough. That's insane. Yeah. So your loan here doesn't you you aren't paying like ten percent. This is obviously once you know interest rate. This becomes clear. This becomes obvious if you if you have six percent interest rate, you're not paying six percent out of hundred sixty thousand. Mm. You're paying that every single year. Yeah. So, but I just think that a lot of people in this field they genuinely don't know. Mm. They genuinely don't know this. Not because they're not because they're they're not touched with society or anything. It's just because we don't really talk no, about never, this, and we're never really taught it. You no. know, maybe we'll have some math stuff in school but i mean how often do you really talk about oh here are your yearly interest rates from no. your student loans and yeah it's so like the Nap- napoleon wars and like <laughs> and all kind of like the powerhouse of the cell and all that but you're not really taught important stuff like this and this here is really important this means that you're not with with a salary from games or vfx this means that you are literally never paying this loan back yeah you are not going to be able to pay off three hundred thousand dollars of debt in your lifetime, most likely. Yeah, most likely. That's. I mean, that's just it's pretty depressing. That is pretty depressing. <laughs> that is just a fact. Or rather, you can choose between uh, owning a home or paying this back. This yeah. is one of the reasons why our generation uh, has been so. The millennial generation has been so s- thoroughly screwed up. I thought that was because of avocado and, and toast. Mm, avocado cheese toast. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. I mean, it's pretty fun, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why we're in a lot of debt because yeah. we eat a lot of avocado toast. Not, so, uh, not because of these interest rates. Yeah, so one of the reasons is a lot of, if you were to look at, at tuition fee increases over the last 30, 40 years, people who graduated, people who went to school in the 60s, 70s and 80s, they basically didn't pay for school. Yeah. And now you might pay forty thousand dollars for school. Yeah. Here in the UK, it went from basically free to paying a thousand pounds to paying three thousand pounds to paying nine thousand pounds a year. A year. Yeah. Over a very short period of time, which means now you have a bunch of people who they might be in the forties or fifties now who their their student loan was that that was how much it cost to live. Yeah. And living costs have also increased dramatically, so they they can just afford. But they can their financial situation right now in their forties or fifties is completely different than somebody who starts off with maybe fifty thousand, sixty thousand pounds in debt. Yeah. And that's like conservative. Yeah, it's a very different world now compared to then in terms of, of how much money you have available. It's it's insane. 
So one of the this is this is more like a bit a bit further in life where you you if you want to buy a house with like home home ownership is something re- a lot of people really want now. It means if you do go into this much loan, into this much debt, you are just not going to be able to do that. Yeah. So it, it's insane here. So now if you um can you set the, the remaining balance to ten years now? Mm, yeah. So now this is like oh cool now. Now you you paying less. Now you can see it went from three hundred thirty thousand dollars to two hundred twenty thousand dollars. Now you're only paying back sixty thousand extra. Yeah. What are you paying now? This every single month you're now paying back almost two thousand dollars. I like this breakdown here where you have the principal <laughs> payment is your is one hundred sixty thousand dollars. That makes up seventy two percent of your payment. So almost thirty percent of y- your repayment is interest. Thirty percent is absolutely insane here. Yeah. So this boring little calculator, which it talks about boring things like interest rates and term remaining <laughs> and all that, might be the most important thing in your life. Yeah. The thing is, the, the big banks and the schools and everyone on the other end, and they have a direct interest in keeping this stuff boring. Yeah. Because if you think it's boring, you're not you're really, read it. You're not gonna read it. So um, we can we can move on to uh, on to more stuff now because now I think we we I think yeah. we, we, we got it. That, yeah, yeah, we nailed that. Interest uh, getting a loan super expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's expensive. That's yeah, just, okay, keep that in mind. So here here is one. Um, this is Pearson College in London. Uh, this is used to be Escape Studios. The Escape Studios was a school, and I'm not sure if they merged or they bought it up. But um, but basically this here is um, Escape is. Um, it's a school which which offers shorter courses. So yeah. instead of like full year courses, they now have uh, like uh, this is what what is this? How long? This is eighteen weeks. Yeah. They also have a course which is I, th- I believe twelve weeks or so, mm. which is a little cheaper. Which is a little cheaper. So emphasis on a little here. So check out the <laughs> price here. This is fifteen thousand yeah. pounds for eighteen weeks. So, so what is fifteen thousand pounds? That's like uh, I'm not doing conversion live. <laughs> let's pretend it's around. 12, no, 20,000, maybe 18... Let's say 18,000. 18, 19,000 dollars. Yeah. Last time we did that, that went horribly wrong. Yeah, we got, we got so much shit in the comments because we just screwed her up like crazy. Let's do... Let's actually do it here. Let's see here. Okay, 19,000. Right. 19, so 19, we're, we're pretty pretty close Not too bad. So, so this here is now, for an 18-week course, this is like 15,000 15, pounds or basically 20,000 dollars. Yeah. So we know we weren't really going to talk about the quality of the courses here. And now I don't have intimate knowledge with this, these courses at all. No, and no, there are a bunch neither. of people working in, in London VFX who went through these courses here. Yeah. But you don't want to be this much in debt over an 18-week course. Yeah, and something that we also just talked about is that we know people that have gone through Escape Studios and have started as runners. Yeah. Like if you go through a 18-week course, you pay 15 grand for it, you shouldn't be starting as a runner. No. Like, this is like, you're paying this much money for a short period of time to sort of speed up the process. Yeah. Right? Instead of going to to a college or a university. Yeah. Um, like, starting as a runner is almost like theft. <laughs> yeah, it's like, then why did you go to school if yeah. you could have just gone that? So, now, I'm sure you learn a lot during this yeah, course here. Yeah, of course. But... There is also a limited amount of stuff you can learn in like eighteen weeks. Yeah, like that. That's nothing. That's like that's like a few months. That's that's it, it's ridiculously short. Yeah, there is an intensive course here, but it's like it's like an, if you have an intensive fitness course as well, go from like from like super chubby to bodybuilder in like eighteen weeks is impossible. <laughs> yeah. the, your body has a max capacity for how much you can learn. So. Like I, I would assume something like this would be really good for someone who already has like a good good knowledge yeah. or something of it, um, and then this would be like to really improve it, really yeah, exactly. get you ready for a job or something. But it's funny here, right? Because here, if you look at entry requirements, they need to have uh, on, on the right here. It says uh, you need to be over eighteen, have a good understanding of written and spoken English, and feel comfortable using a computer. So these, is, this, that's probably not the requirements I would put down. No, exactly, right? I would assume that, yeah, if you if you have a course where you have some some people who might they might be great designers or yeah. or whatnot, and you just need to learn technical three D, that might be doable. But in order to go from 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 basically a beginner to getting a job, you're not just talking about learning software. You're t- talking about learning fundamentals. Yeah, you need to have a fundamental understanding of color theory, of design, of of just what it is you're trying to do. Mm. You're not going to be able to learn that in a course like this. 
Probably not. <laughs> like it's just it's just like your brain. Yeah, there's your brain can't limited capacity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. So we can move on to the next one. This here is an interesting one. How much does it cost to study in the UK? So London is very expensive to live in. Uh, I believe they're talking about here that uh, what is in London it it's cost like 12,000 pounds to live. Um Oh, sorry, 1,200 pounds a month to a live month, in London. Yeah. So you probably like, your your living cost could probably vary between, I would say, 1,000 to 1,200 maybe. Yeah. Depending on also how willing you are to live with other people, yeah. how many you live with, and yeah. how much oatmeal you eat. Yeah. Probably. So if you live with other people in London, and like, like not talking about a, like, a, like with a flat, but like sharing rooms here, and you eat oatmeal every single day. Maybe you can get it around to like a thousand pounds a month. Well, I mean, so. we have a friend that lives with four other people. They don't share a room; they share an apartment. Yeah. yeah. So, and she pays six hundred pounds a month. Yeah. And then with travel expenses, let's say not going to Guildford or anything, but like just regular travel yeah. expenses, she would probably land at around nine hundred to a thousand. Yeah, that's pounds. fair. Yeah, so you can probably do that if you if you want to live with share rooms with people, you can get cheaper. As well. Yeah, yeah. Rooms then you, that yeah that would be. Then you can probably go down to like uh, seven is three four hundred pounds. But a, a lot of student accommodation where you get your own room, there are. 800 pounds seven mm-hmm. eight hundred pounds because they're also right in the center yeah exactly so uh, if you if you do attend a general uh, like a general one of these accommodations they're kind of shitty like i used <laughs> to live in them when i was an intern at frame store yeah they're um, they're not they're okay but they're not they're not great and they're around 700 to 800 pounds a month yeah, yeah. so um Let's say, let's say you a year you were paying. What is that like? A good like, let's say conservatively, it's a thousand, ten thousand pounds a mm. year to live in London, and now you have tuition fee, which is nine thousand, nine thousand two hundred. You're year. talking twenty thousand pounds a year, yeah. Which it goes into, which you're gonna be that much in debt, yeah. And then if you have a job next to it to, to help to pay with this to reduce to reduce the cost, now you're just getting kind of a shitty education because <laughs> now you're spending all your time working instead of instead of spending all your time improving your art. Yeah, yeah, man. and realistically, most people are probably going to have like a spare time job yeah. next to it just yeah. to try to pay some of the stuff off. Yeah, so it's a tricky one, right? Yeah. Because you having a spare time job might be necessary from a financial point of view, but you also really just want to spend all your time on studies. Yeah. So we're going to be linking in this article as well. Definitely worth having a read through this. This goes through fairly in a fairly good way how much, how much stuff costs. Yeah. So, um... This here is, also before we move on to that one, let's just talk about general UK schools first. Mm. So we know that if you go to the UK and you are a UK citizen, first off, all the loans are wiped off after 30 years. So what a lot of people do, they just pay off the bare minimum and they just consider it a tax. Maybe they pay a few hundred pounds a month on that. So in the UK, it's a bit different. But regardless of what system it is they have here, you still have to pay back a lot of money. Yeah. And if you're not a UK citizen, you come over here as an international student, yeah. that, that rule doesn't apply to you. Then you are being hit with, like, if let's say you take a four-year degree here, 20, 20K a year, that's 80K. Yeah. 80,000 pounds. What is that, like $100,000 or so? Yeah. Not probably. doing math, but, like, but around <laughs> that, probably a bit more than that. Full part. So, UK schools, 9,200 pounds a year currently. Mm. Probably going to increase because that's what they do. Yeah. So, it's crazy. Um, in And... This is where we said we weren't going to talk too much about the quality, <laughs> but UK schools are not great. You have some like Bournemouth, you have some like Hertfordshire, there, which are pretty okay. Yeah. But in terms of, in terms of, would you want to be eighty k in debt yeah. after that? I mean, it's. I mean, so okay, let's real talk here. Every single student <laughs> that I've talked to, there are exceptions, of course, that come out of the schools in the UK. Either don't get a job or start as a runner. Mm. And we, I think we've talked about this before, but this fucking pisses me off. <laughs> like, you, you take a three-year degree or four-year degree, however long it is here, to start as a runner. Yeah. You start as someone who has as little skill as no one. Like, yeah. it's like you, someone who didn't go to university for three or four years can start as a runner. Yeah. Someone who goes to university should never start as a runner. No, I think that's insane. That's like just the way it's, it is here now in the UK. And and at least before, like let's say ten years ago, being as a runner, that was kind of okay. You start, you know, you get into a company, get used to that, mm. and now you start maybe as a modeler. The problem is these jobs they don't really exist anymore. Yeah, because they've been outsourced to India and yeah. China now. So if you the very entry level jobs like prop modeling, which was a great way to get started before, yeah, yeah. It's, it's fairly simple stuff. You can kind of go gradually up here. 
a lot of these jobs, they're gone. Mm. They're not coming back. No. Software's getting smarter and smarter. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you can have, you can do better things. You can do you can do bigger and better things with fewer and fewer people. Yeah. So it's like yeah, like like Morton's saying here, like very few people I've seen from school from school here get jobs right away. I've I've seen I've seen like a hand few people mm-hmm. who get straight into it, but but these are exceptional people. W- yeah, exactly. And they would have they would have done it without a school. Yeah, exactly. So it's it's heartbreaking to see it. That's also one reason we're making the video, so that we're not telling you not to go to school. No, we're telling you to seriously consider the costs before going. To like, school. if you can afford it, yeah, go to school. It's awesome. Like, yeah, for sure. This is not like this is not like our school. Did we do a video on schools? Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. And like, ah, oh, yeah, that's what I'm remembering. <laughs> <laughs> like trying to scare people off and like the realities of going to school and all that kind of stuff. It's more like these are the financial truths yeah. about going to school, and you have to consider this. Before you're indebted for life. Yeah. It's crazy. Particularly like in, in the States where you can start drinking at age 21. And because you're not responsible enough. But you can take out a $300,000 loan at age 18, 17 or 18. It's like, oh no, you might kill your brain cells. Or yeah. you might be miserable for the rest of your life because you can't afford property. It's ridiculous. And now you're like, you might, you might graduate when you're 21, 22 mm. with this burden over you. And so this is also where when you're in school, you, you don't necessarily think about it. Then you're like, you know, it's, it's a problem for future me. Yeah. <laughs> future Henning will deal with this. And you're just partying and everything is fine. And then you finish school and you haven't got a job yet. Mm. It's happened to a lot of people. Yeah. And now suddenly you start getting checks or invoices for uh, for student loans. And you got a, it's a thousand pounds, maybe a thousand pounds a month. And you're like, yeah, but I can't pay that. <laughs> and they're like, well, you should have thought about that before you got into you before you got into 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 debt this is one thing which people don't really talk about that the schools will literally lie to you mm. to get your money yeah and they make it really tricky to figure out like a lot of schools make it really tricky to figure out how much do i actually pay yes like what, you're gonna be what, looking at this later on actually what are the costs and you know they do tricky stuff to hide it mm. They're super sneaky. Very sneaky schools. <laughs> <laughs> so looking at this one, this is a Ringling in, in the US. This is apparently a fantastic school. They're also great marketing, so maybe that's why I think it's a fantastic school. <laughs> but they, they, they generally have some really good projects coming out of them. Yeah. But if you if you look at this breakdown here, so first this is a PDF we had to find by looking go, by like going through their website. It's not like it's not written anywhere. They're not it's hard to find how much tuition fee is. Usually you Google like Ringling tuition fee. And you get some obscure thing here. So the pure tuition fee here is almost $41,000, $40,900. For a first year student. Mm, maybe <laughs> this is different for uh, for a second as well. Yeah. So, and then you have room and board. So for living expenses, then you have some, you have some like fees, <laughs> student activity, health services. I was like, oh, that's nice. Health insurance is included. Oh, it's not included. Yeah, health yeah. insurance is $1,000 here. Fine arts major degree or major fee, you got to pay more fees here. So in total here, this is basically sixty thousand dollars, fifty nine thousand dollars per year. Yeah, for the first year. See, this is why it's tricky, right? Here's a here's a one PDF telling you for first year students what what it's going to be like. Yeah, it's and this could also increase while you're in school as yeah. well. They could increase they could increase it while you're in there. So next year you're paying more. This is crazy, and this is so this is. 60,000 per year. I believe this is a four year degree. Mm. What is that? $240,000? That is. Uh, math, I don't know. That's sure. That, yeah. <laughs> if, I, if I screwed it up, just, just yell it's at me. It's probably in the comment. around 240, yeah. So that, that's crazy. You're not, you're not paying that back. Unless, oh, oh, let's try that one. Let's try that one. Okay. For anyone listening, <laughs> let's see. 240,000. Mm-hmm. repayment over let's say realistic 25 years right yeah an interest rate might vary as well like that yeah. that goes up and down <laughs> that's a total payment of four hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars <laughs> so like that's half a mil so now you you took a four-year degree when you were from 17 to age 21 and you got to pay back five hundred thousand dollars yeah that's a lot that's a lot and also this is this is for art you have uh, you have like medical school where it might be you might be paying like way more than this as well. Yeah, I have no idea what the tuition for those kind of it's, schools it's, are. It's insane. Then you might you might be a six, seven year degree. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Even that over a twenty five year period, you're still paying sixteen hundred dollars a month. Yeah. 
It is absolutely insane. Let's say for the for just for fun that the interest rate goes up to ten percent. So much fun! <laughs> so now you're paying six hundred and fifty-four thousand dollars. Yeah. So like, if there is if there is um, if they decide to change the interest rate, they might go to ten percent. It's been to ten percent. It's been to almost twenty percent for late eighties. This uh, this is all dependent on the economy. You yeah. Know, whatever happens to the economy will affect your your interest rate. Yeah. Exactly. So, you know. If it goes bad, it might go up. Yeah, exactly. If 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 times so if times are really good, the the government don't want you to borrow more because then you just then you just have an economy of debt. Yeah. If the economy is really shit, which it was like uh, which has been like after 2008, the interest rate goes down quite a lot because now they want people to borrow money. They want yeah. to stimulate the economy here. So if, if the economy is going pretty well, which in at least in the states is going doing quite well right now, they might they might just increase the interest rate so that you, nobody's going to borrow money yeah. because it's too expensive. And if that happens, then you're going to interest rate of 10, 15 percent. I had. Um, Can you put in 15 percenter just for yeah. for fun? Just uh, oh, let's just look at that. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's almost that's nine hundred thousand dollars. So if you have a loan of two hundred forty thousand, paying over twenty five years, interest rate is of fifteen percent. That's that's a million dollars. Obviously, this is with a constant fifteen percent interest yes. rate on all your loans, so it would be yes. probably a little lower. But like I had a my grandparents when they bought their house, for example, going off of student loans a little bit, um, they had a variable interest rate on their mortgage. Mm. So which meant that you know it could fluctuate. Yeah. And the average fluctuation was like a couple percent yeah. up and down, right? So I think the average was like two uh, percent. Maybe they were paying two percent. One year, I think this was like in the eighties or mid eighties. It went to eighteen, no, twenty five percent for the year. It like insane. Yeah. Just because I don't know, I don't know what happened in that little time. The, the economy completely crashed late eighties. Yeah. So maybe that was why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the economy, the economy crashed like crazy, and they were like, "We need people to stop borrowing money." Yeah. How do you make me not take out a loan? You punish me like crazy if I take out a loan. And this is where, like, if you have a fixed uh, mortgage, like yeah. a fixed interest rate on your mortgage, you would be fine. But because they had a variable one, they got absolutely screwed. Yeah. There were people then who they um they fixed their mortgage. Uh, I read about this. They fixed their mortgage at seventeen percent because they thought it was going to go higher. Yeah. And I mean, if you're talking that, you you, it's it's insurmountable. You're not paying yeah. this back. This is why learning about the economy and all this kind of stuff it sounds boring, but it's so important. Man, the flip normals podcast or whatever this is just turned into an economic podcast. <laughs> yeah a rat but it's like it's like a it's like a bad one because we're not experts no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we don't know too much about it but we know enough yeah we know we know enough and it's important that you know this as well it's mm. just important that you plug this stuff into it yeah so that one that was ringling um so let's go to Noman. Noman, they are a bit sneaky now Noman, they produce fantastic work fantastic yes. students undisputed undisputed at least at least the top students. That's what we see, right? Like, I would love to see some of the not so great students. Yeah, because well. I'm sure they also have that. But but this here is so this is the twelve term course we're looking at here, um, which uh, things are entertainment design and production, mm. which I, I would love to attend. I'm sure it's a, it's a fantastic course. But <laughs> look at how the terms are split up. Yeah, the first one to four terms is only oh how gracious of them mm. uh, four and a half thousand dollars. So that's nine thousand per year. Everything after that, every term after that, ah, oh, yeah. So that's so that yeah, school year is two terms. So that means every single year after that is, is um, I think that's a four year degree. So uh, so that's twenty thousand dollars a year. Yeah, that's twenty. <sighs> so for the first two years, then then you're paying ten thousand, basically nine thousand dollars a year. Yeah. And then after that, for the remaining years, then you're paying, then you're paying a lot more. Twenty thousand. Yeah. Jesus. That that's crazy. That is pretty crazy, actually. So yeah, this is like you should, the the title of of this episode should be something like "What schools don't want you to know, and <laughs> doctors never will tell you <laughs> yeah. about avocado toast." <laughs> All of that. Oh, there was one thing we wanted to highlight. Mm. This might not be specific to Nomen, but now we're just trashing on them because yeah. they pointed it out here. Um, <clears throat> increases in tuition tuition fee uh, <laughs> happen at least once annually, and the tuition fee increase will not exceed 5%. Yeah. So you can probably guess that it's probably going to be up to 5%. Yeah, they have the right to increase it. So At and if, least so if once they ha- annually. Yeah, so if they have a right to increase it, why wouldn't they? Yeah. 
So this is this is one of the things which not to shit on Nomen, but no, this no, no. is just on their side. This is just on their side. We just straight up reading up what what's there now. Yeah. So this is this is insane how much certain schools have. I believe uh, Harvard University has around thirty billion dollars in in the bank in the little war chest in the little war chest that's that's billion <laughs> that's not million yale as well i think is around 20 billion yeah. the same with the schools here in the uk as well like the biggest one like cambridge and oxford you're talking billions of dollars in in invested funds yeah they are essentially i'm not talking about no one here but like a lot of the bigger universities they're essentially investment banks with an educational branch yeah it's it's absolutely ridiculous. You can, you can check out those numbers as well. They're around they're around thirty billion for for Harvard. It's absolutely insane here. So realize that schools they're a business. And now we're not saying that 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 it's bad to charge. Obviously they can charge whatever they want to. We're yeah. selling tutorials on our side. We exactly. can charge whatever we want to. It's more that, and they're not even. It, it's not even. They're not even scams or anything. They're just expensive services. Yeah, and you. If they're charging like forty thousand dollars for for per year, and you and you go and accept that, that's on you. Yeah, you yeah. Got- like like we pointed out, this is not to shit on any of the schools no. and the quality of students and the quality of the work that comes out of the school. No, this is purely to inform you. Uh, it's expensive. Yeah, they were like, we can teach VFX and make monsters all day and make a lot of money. That's awesome. Mm. That's a great business opportunity here. It's up to you to. To figure out if it's worth it for you. Yeah. We also have SCAD here. This is uh, apparently also one of the really good schools here. But also, again, check out the tuition fee here. It's $40,000, basically. It's $37,000. And that's that's in pure tuition fee. Now you have to... Uh, it's in Savannah. And, uh, and it's in Savannah, which I believe... I think it's in Georgia. Which is probably a lot cheaper to live than somewhere like San Francisco. Mm. But it's still expensive. Yeah, yeah. Forty thousand dollars a year. Yeah. It's almost like you become blind to it. It's almost like, uh, like now that now that we look at this, it was just forty thousand dollars. It's almost like, um, looking at uh, uh, looking at the schools in the UK. That's suddenly cheap now. Let's go back to our little calculator. One hundred twenty thousand over twenty five years. Six point eight percent interest rate. Total payment of two hundred forty nine thousand dollars. You're not paying that back. I mean, you can. Even over 10 years, let's do, we just do over 10 years, yeah. right? Then it's only $165,000 where you pay 1300 a month. Yeah. You really got to take this into consideration here. Yeah. And then we have, um, what is it, CalArts? Yeah, CalArts. CalArts. So CalArts has a bit of a, yeah. of a legendary reputation here because uh, this, is, this is where the guys at Pixar used to go to. And I'm sure it's a fantastic school here. Again, it's it's the same price as the other ones. I think what is this around forty thousand, forty five thousand dollars a year? Yeah. And again, they're also a bit sneaky. Yeah, uh, like we we start off here on the overview page, and this is even on the financial part. We've already got into financials here now. Do my checklist. Log into the hub. It's like I feel like they're not they're not spitting it out. And then we came no. across the international students, yeah. where we can find an estimated payment worksheet. Which is, which is a PDF, but is actually not a PDF at It's all. a Google spread. Oh, it's a, it's a spreadsheet. It's an Excel sheet. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, they try, I, I don't know. I feel like, at least Calas, they try to hide it, hide it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I feel, I feel all of them did. Uh, a lot of these I had to Google. I, yeah. I straight up had to Google, like, normal workshop tuition fee. Yeah. And then you find it there. Because navigating your site, it's tricky. And I don't think that's because you're bad at design mm. or UX. No, I mean, look, look at the normal workshop website. It looks fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. If you go to like, can you just go to the main page here yeah. and just see? Okay, from here, how much does it cost? <laughs> Maybe on our admissions. Let's try that. Admissions. Like it's it's not straightforward anywhere. Domestic it, student guide maybe. Financial aid scholarships. So that's that's just financial aid. Yeah. Yeah. That's not. Um, net price calculator. Net price calculator. Launch the net. Let's launch that price. Ca- and then we get to. <laughs> what is going on? Yeah. Now, this is just how much financial aid you can get. Mm. See, see, this is not. See, this is why it's tricky. Mm. Um, it. Scholarships. But but already before you get to this page here, you've already been looking through their success stories. How all their students they go to Blizzard and and all these, and which is true. I mean, a lot of the students from these schools, they're amazing, and some of the teachers are are absolutely fantastic as well like i mean jj abrams he only wished that no one had existed when he was a kid so and look at where he he got to so he's he's pretty good he's so pretty good. they're 
the, the students attending these schools are fantastic. Yes. The the teachers are awesome. The locations are awesome. You're gonna learn so much, I'm sure. At least the ones we looked at now. Uh, there are there are probably some really shitty ones which are also which are also the same price. But as far as I know, these schools we looked at now are really good schools. So I'm assuming Nomen is also in California. Yeah, I think they're in San Francisco. So, ooh. So that's also, you know, you got to yeah. factor in San Francisco is one of the most expensive places on the planet to yeah, live. it is. Um, you know, because you got, I think that's because of like so many developers live there and the developer. Yeah, Silicon Valley. Yeah, the developer uh, salary is so high. So yeah. housing prices can just keep going up and yeah, up and exactly. up. Yeah, exactly. But and if you look at the student work here, it's awesome. Yeah, it's super cool. So they have a lot of really, really awesome stuff. If you go to a bit up here, you can see, obviously if you listen to this, you can't see it, but <laughs> it, it's awesome. It's This this is this is production ready stuff. Yeah. So um, clearly these schools are, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say they're giving you your money's worth because if you are in debt for life, that's... I can't view the artwork. That's suddenly a bit tricky, but... Sign up for the newsletter. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. So awesome art, but... To keep that in mind. Then we yeah. also have uh, the Kur Film School. Mm-hmm. The Kur Film School is awesome. Like they have so many. We we work with a bunch of people who came yeah, from yeah. the Kur Film School. Uh, awesome stuff. Great student work. But again, like the other schools here, it's all the money. It's forty thousand dollars a year to attend. And these guys are great in marketing. A lot of people have heard about the Kur Film School. Yeah. And not shitting on their quality, just their price is high. Yeah, I don't even know where to find it here. No, exactly, right? It's it's <laughs> tricky. Um, Maybe you can request the info. <laughs> yeah. To apply. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, it's definitely something you have to consider because it is something that's going to affect you for the rest of your life if you yeah. take up a student loan. Like like we said, if you can somehow afford it, you have the money, yeah. um, your parents can help with the payment and stuff, and it's not a problem, then schools are... Fantastic. Yeah, they are. Especially if you find a good school that has a really, really good program. Yeah. Then it can be super life changing. Absolutely. And we also we also have a lot of resources on our YouTube channel as well. If you don't want to go to school, like mm-hmm. we have we have one called How to Become a Self Self Taught Artist, which which we cover a lot of things like how can you how can you get a good education without going to school? Because that's been a problem as well. That we've been talking about this. Okay, so you sh- I shouldn't go to school. Then what do I do? And there are people who they just they just need some framework around them. They yeah. need they need just do these things here, and I'll be fine. And that's something that the school is providing you. But I mean, two hundred fifty thousand dollars, maybe three hundred thousand dollars, maybe you pay back five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, I would say that is never ever ever worth it unless you can pay it back. Yeah, like then then it's, but then always we're not talking to you. No, if you this is probably for the average person. Yeah. It, I w- yeah, I don't even think that's controversial. I, I think it's never worth five hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars of student loans. The salaries in this field, once you get up to like something like a senior level uh, in games or VFX or whatever it might be, it's it's fairly well paid. But it's not well paid where you pay back five hundred thousand no. dollars as extra income. It's unfortunately. I, yeah, unfortunately, that would be awesome. That wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, in really, just to sum sum this entire thing up here, do your research. Figure out figure out how much how much the school is, how much it costs. Do go through a calculator, a student loan calculator. Yeah. And then once you're in school as well, just go crazy on it. Just mm. learn as much as you possibly can. So we hope this here. If, you, if, you, if you're watching now, if you're watching now and you're in student loan, we hope you haven't like jumped off a bridge or something. <laughs> and um, and if you aren't in school and you want to go in get, get into mm. school we hope this has actually been useful yeah made you think a little bit yeah because i think that's the most important part here is that if you are young and you this is something you're considering think about how this will also affect you in the future yeah for sure yeah so cool if you want to learn more about schools let us know as well if you have any ideas for specific topics here yeah just just write in the comments or find us on social media mm. whatever you might do yeah and if you want to meet, just yeah, generously more content like this in the future, make sure to like, comment, and uh, subscribe. Yeah, thanks for watching. Here's some-